tonight, still speaking about PVCs and elections, we'll be moving to the INEC, to the Independent National Electoral Commission. Now, we know that the National Assembly Joint Committee has been, they've been on the break, but we're saying now that they're resuming deliberation on Monday, the 27th of August. It was reported that the committee would decide whether to approve the environment request of 143 billion naira contained in President Mohamed Buhari's letter to the National Assembly or the entire 189 billion naira requested by INEC. A member of the committee who spoke on the condition of, on, of anonymity said, nothing has changed so far. He said, and I quote, we had yet to re arrive at a conclusion as to whether it is the president's 143 billion naira which he requested to be buyed from projects in the 2018 project budget or the entire sum of 189 billion naira being the total requirement for the 2019 elections. It will be the main focus of Monday's meeting. And if you recall, the Minister of Budgets and National Planning told us the last time that the executive was comfortable with anyone we chose. It shouldn't be an issue. So on the issue of reconvening the National Assembly, the lawmaker has said, you can't talk about reconvening the National Assembly now when the Committee on INEC has not concluded its work, let alone Committee on Appropriations. Well, I don't want to feel too hopeful until the date actually comes about. But fact of the, of the matter actually is just pass the budget. Pass the budget. The committee needs to do its job. The Senate needs to do their job. We need to see proactiveness. We need to see efficiency because this is not about them. This is about us, the citizens, the populace. Get the job done. I'm not quite enthusiastic as well because we have the elections approximately six months away. And if you remember how long it took our national budget to be passed. It had to go through several stages. We had to see the president, you know, saying that there, were, there was a lot of shifting of blames from the National Assembly, from the executive arm to the legislative arm. There were lots of shifting of blames. Deadlines came, deadlines were met, deadlines were passed. You know, at the end of the day, we found that we could no longer count on when the budget would be passed. For them to even agree on what the budget would be. And at the end of the day, it's just taking them so long to approve the budget. Last Last year, we were very excited because the budget was passed early last year, and it didn't really make any difference. And this year was yeah. passed so late. So if the national budget could be could take this long, talk more of this. We need to be proactive. We need to start doing something. Six months might look like a long time away, but it's not far. It's just Girl, around the corner. we've done eight months of this year. Can we <laughs> I know, I think we should just be saying Happy New Year already. I know, right? Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to 2019. <laughs> I can't wait to say that. <laughs> Honestly. Actually, I can't wait. There's still so much I need to do in 2018. I know, right? So many yeah. goals to achieve. But Olive, I just hope that with regards to this story, I hope that it's not falling back on the average mediocre attitude that we are seeing across Nigeria. When a job needs to be done, a job needs to be done. We don't only see this at the political level. We see this at every level of society. We are okay with something average. We are okay with something that is not necessarily what we asked for. And we have that entire, I can't come and kill myself mentality. I am challenging you to even stop saying that. I know we all go about saying, man, I but can't I come and kill myself. I like, I like that. There's a phrase I like to say or a sentence I like to quote. It says, an average life is a decorated failure. We need to stop doing the most that gets us by. Like Let that. us do the needed, what is needed of us. We need to put in our best and stop doing, okay, let's just do as much as we can. Oh, we're done with this and move on to the next level. Our budgets, another worry that I'm, I'm you know, nursing will be the issue of padding. They say in Nigeria, budget that is not padded is down one budget. We want to be sure that at the end of the day, that the budget allocation committee will properly look through this. And at the end of the day, the money would be disbursed as soon as possible. And they would have done their due diligence so that, so that we're not seeing them coming to tell us, oh, the budget was and they need to revisit the issue. All these are the things that would end up delaying the process. Six months is not far away again. Honestly, it really isn't far away. But on that note, actually, let Olive and I know what plans you have for the rest of the year. What haven't you achieved yet? What are you yet to achieve? 2018 is still here, but it's literally going to go by just like that. And we are all going to be asking questions as we move into a new year. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.